This is the first time in almost a decade Dennis has been able to feel what he's touching on his left-hand side. Soft. It's the first time ever an amputee has been given a sense of touch. Suddenly I could feel things uh, that I haven't been able to, to for so many years and, and it was uh, a kind of you can feel round things and hard things and soft things and that was quite amazing. Dennis had to have his lower left arm amputated when a firework exploded in his hand. Now he's the first person to test out a revolutionary bionic hand that allows him to feel the size, shape and softness of an object. Hard. For the first time we were able to restore a real-time sensory feeling in an amputee while he was controlling the sensorized hand. First, Dennis had to have surgery to implant four ultra-thin electrodes into what remains of the nerves in his upper arm. These were hooked up to artificial tendons, which measure tension when squeezing an object. Those measurements are then turned into an electrical current, and an impulse is sent to the nerves in the patient's upper arm, which can then be interpreted by the brain as a sense of touch. At this London clinic, they fit state-of-the-art bionic hands that move and grip in a natural way. But a hand that combines this movement with feeling could help transform the lives of amputees and could be the first step towards wider human enhancement. For people who have maybe not lost their arms, maybe people who have a problem with the hand, then they're not as functional as, as they would like it to be. So people would actually opt to have a bionic arm over a real arm? This is, this is way in the future. This has helped blur the boundaries between human and machine. It was just a temporary clinical trial, but eventually doctors hope more people like Dennis could feel better again. Rebecca Barry, Channel 5 News. Okay. Thank you.